St. Teresa of Avila was baptized Teresa Santes de Sabeda e Aumada in, in the 16th century Spain. This saint, this doctor of the church, advisor to popes, theologian and founder of religious orders, has much to teach us about prayer. As a child, prayer, as people have written about St. Teresa, was the center of her life. There is a story about Teresa that at age seven, she convinced her older brother to run away with her to the land of the Moors, to beg the Moors in the love of God to cut off their heads while they were there. Luckily, her uncle discovered them and brought them home. Some writers suggest that the story emphasizes her sainthood. I am in agreement with other writers who have suggested the story is an example of Teresa's charm and her ability to stir up trouble. St. Teresa was a woman for God. I am drawn to her because she was a woman of God for God in her humanity. At 16 years old, typical of teenagers then and now, she became a handful for her father. Her obsession was not with God, it was with friends and parties and other distractions. What is a wealthy father to do with, her, with his wayward daughter? Send her to a convent, and that's exactly what he did. I find Teresa's true humanity in her experiences while in the convent. Her prayer life was a struggle for her. She writes, I was anxious for the hour of prayer to be over. Teresa wanted no part of prayer. She did not feel God's love, just his silence. Teresa used her illness and many illnesses as an excuse not to pray. Teresa's conversion, her way back to God, was never easy, always a struggle. But in the midst of the struggle, Teresa experienced what she refers to as powerful grace, a mystical love. Teresa renewed her relationship with God. She wrote, contemplative prayer is divine union in which the Lord takes his delight in the soul and the soul takes its delight in him. May we all find our way back to perfection, God's love and his mercy. May today, as Teresa wrote, there be peace within. May you trust God that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith. May you use those gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content knowing you are a child of God let this presence settle in your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing, dance, praise, and love. It is there for each and every one of us. Amen, amen, St. Teresa of Avila. May we all find God's love in our prayer, dancing and singing along the way. May today there be peace within. May you trust God that you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith. May you use those gifts that you have received and pass them on the love that has been given to you. May you be confident knowing you are a child of God.